All right, the timer was up, and took my pieces out. I put these uh, I put these two little blocks in, and the tailstock wrench, so it's blackening in there. But here's the here's the parts. <clears throat> They're black, as you can see. <laughs> uh, freshly coated in this penetrating sealer. You got to put that on. It's really just like an oil. And I believe what it does is it prevents, um, you know, rusting and stuff like that. So, actually just pour it a lot in there and just let it soak. And these parts are nice and black. The thing that I noticed about it is the uh, the finish is, it doesn't wear very well on things that you're going to put your hand on. So, it's more of a decorative thing, you know, for black um, socket head screws and stuff like that. You know, to dress up the uh, the look of the lathe or any other machine, I guess, really. And here was the uh, here was the purple power. So basically, your parts are degreased. They're uh, they're cleaned on the Scotch Brite, uh, taken down to you know to that silvery state that I showed you. I'll show you actually what they look like. Let me come over here. You want to get them to be like that, nice and shiny. Um, after they're shiny, then you want to put them in purple power one more time. <clears throat> And what that does is it just kind of takes away any of the scotch Bright dust or any of the oils from your hand. So I let them sit for, I don't know, overnight, maybe even two days or whatever. I take them out. I put them on the towel. I dry them off. Then I put them in a, a bucket over there, which has distilled water. It just washes off any of the purple power and gives it a final rinse and a clean. And then uh, into the bucket. So let me put my my uh, chemical gloves on here and pull out our tailstock wrench and we'll see what she looks like. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Looks like it just came right out of the factory, to be honest with you. So what we do is we dry it nicely and then uh, let me take these out of here too this is the uh, the little block f I think it's for the uh, oh, what are they for to pinch the uh, they're you know they're the the binding blocks for the the um, the saddle and one I think is for maybe the micrometer stop or something I'm not sure but let's see here now so this guy is is all Nice, dry, getting dry. And you, you do want to act quick on this because this is a rusting process, I think. I don't know, I could be wrong, but let's go. Let's get another bin. Man, that's funny. This looks blue on tape, and it is. It's it's a purple bin. Completely purple. Anyway, here's my sealer. Put a little in there. <clears throat> yep, I spelled it. Shame, shame, shame. Let's get this blackening stuff out of here. And you just want to let it sit in the uh, in the sealer, the penetrating sealer, for a couple of minutes. I really like to just keep it wet. I guess it goes into the part to the uh, to the pores of the metal and seals it up, prevents any further rust. And one thing about this penetrating sealer, it it has that new screw smell. So when you get new screws. Especially these uh, these socket head Allen screws. It smells exactly like brand new screws. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna let that soak a little bit. Um, this is the product right here. This is Caswell Penetrating Sealer, one quart. Um, it goes a long way. I used it to do my bridge port head, and you know, I, I pour it in here. I let them soak, and then I pour the seal her back. Here's the uh, the black oxide stuff from Caswell. 
Yep, my iPhone is not focusing, but... Yep, this is one pint. It's 20-something bucks. Maybe 29? I don't know. Somewhere's around there. And the sealer, the sealer lasts. And the ratio, um, it's hard to read with the camera here, but it's one part uh, black oxide to nine parts distilled water. So, as you could see, I did not use a lot tonight whatsoever. So I'll have this for another job. Probably when I do my parts for my uh, Alorus tool post and all the, the tool holders and stuff like that. So, once again, there you go. That's the finished product. And I think, uh, you know, for the 20-something dollars and the cost of the, of the sealer, you can bring all your nuts and bolts back to life, and it definitely improves the look of any of your restorations out there. All right. Thanks.